In this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, some of the new features of the uh, new Explore Plus Agent that is going to be released with the next version of Dynamics AX. So the first thing you'll notice when you start typing in the new editor is that you get a drop-down dialog box, uh, and this is actually the word completion feature. Um, so hopefully that will help you type faster. You get a list of all the types you can need, all your local variables, your tables, your classes, and the extended data types. And as you type, um, the list actually gets filtered uh, depending on uh, what you're typing. So hopefully that will help you to type faster. And when you hit enter or space, uh, the word gets completed for you. The next thing I will show is when you actually press the dot on, on one of your local variable, you're going to get the list of um, the methods for, for this particular type that you can call. Uh, this is a feature that already existed in the previous versions of Dynamics AX, but what's new here is that you get um, some help on the actual uh, summary of the method that comes from the summary tag of the XML documentation. Um, so if I press uh, parenthesis here, I'll get some extensive help on um, actually each parameter uh, that I can call for this method. So the, here we have the, uh, uh, the text coming from the summary tag, and here we have the text coming from each parameter documentation. And um, talking about which, uh, we've made also easier for you to insert um, new XML comments in your code. So if you position the cursor just above the methods and, and type three slashes, then a template for the documentation is inser inserted automatically. Uh, you can see the name of the parameters already filled out for you. So the only thing um, you have to add is the documentation of the method that you have to type. Uh, here and of course this can be used also locally you'll see the documentation for for the method here that comes from your own XML comments um, and you can see here if I switch to the next parameter the documentation also automatically switch to to the next parameter So another thing which can be useful is the line numbering. So if you want to do code review or refer to a particular line, you can see the line numbers here. And you can toggle it on and off. And there's also a new thing which is the the change tracking margin. So if I enable that, I'm going to get a marking in the margin while I start typing, which uh, in yellow indicates uh, the changes I've made in the buffer. And when I save, uh, the marking becomes green, indicating that I've saved the changes. And if I continue with more changes, I can see which part I've just been edited and not saved, and which part I've saved since I started editing this buffer. Another cool feature, especially when you code review or demos, is the zoom. Uh, so you can by holding the control key down and using the wheel of the mouse, you can zoom your code in and out. And uh, you can see here in the drop-down uh, also which value your code has been zoomed to. So you can also zoom out and zoom in. Let's put it back to 100. There we go. If you want to do some block editing, uh, there's a feature called uh, block marking. So by holding the uh, Alt key down, you can actually mark a region of code like, like this. And you can, for example, delete it. That's one possibility. Or you can uh, actually do a multiple editing. If you want to say prefix all your variable with uh, some kind of prefix 
like this <coughs> or similarly you can uh, you can uh, for example enter uh, a comment on on multiple lines and so on so I can delete my comments here also using the same feature so another thing that's getting improved uh, in this editor is is the error handling let's say I create a syntax error here when I build, I'm going to get squiggles indicating that uh, I have an error here. If I hover over the squiggles, actually I'll get uh, the corresponding error message for, for the false line. So that helps you if you have several errors in the code, that can help you relate the errors easier, uh, in an easier way to, um, to the actual error messages. And finally, the last thing I want to show is um, about label resolution. So let's say I have a string here and I want to allocate it to a label value like this. Uh, and if I want to know, let's put the code here so it's actually correct. If I want to know um, the actual string value of this label, I can just put the mouse on top of it and then I'll get a tooltip uh, showing me. Uh, what the label one two three four five uh, is actually. So if I change it to another number, I get the new string. So that's it. I hope you enjoy the demo.